she had her guard up because of everything that humans had done to her. <laughs> we found out that she had been shot at least three times with a BB pellets. Our hearts broke, but as soon as we rescue any cat, we go all in to give them a chance. You know, I see one of your eyes. Well, we were notified about Talia by the city shelter. Hey guys, we are here at the vet with Talia. She was on the euthanasia list. Not only did we want her to be warm and comfortable, we wanted her to feel safe. Even though she had to be hospitalized, every day she was getting better, she was getting stronger. Her eyes are open way more. Yes, I can see your eyes. Hi, sweetie. You could tell that she had the fight in her to survive. As far as gaining her trust, one of the big things we did was put her in one of those calming beds, which is kind of like a donut, and she would just melt into those and kind of nuzzle in, and then we realized she loved being by the fire. She wouldn't move for hours on end. It actually looks pretty good right now, more lively. A lot of the physical recovery stuff happened really fast. Then after that, it was really just an emotional recovery. It took months. We introduced her to different kitties that were friendly. is like almost a completely different cat. She had more than doubled her weight. She was able for us to just pick her up, snuggle her, and that's when we we're like, okay, I think it's time for you to find your forever family because she deserved that. You've been adopted, mama. Yay, mama. So we hadn't met many men before, so I was kind of concerned how she was gonna react. And just tell he's such a gentle guy. When are you going to love this? There you go.